In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to get more sacks in Madden 18. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and for those of you that this is your first time watching any of my YouTube content, uh, I just want to thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch today's video, and I want to encourage you that today's video is going to have a lot of great content, so just stick around and, uh, and watch the entirety of the video because it's going to really help you take your game to the next level in Madden and get better uh, as a player. All right, so the first thing that I want to touch on with getting more sacks in Madden 18 is a, a really critical question that I ask um, really for everything that I try to do, and that is why are you blitzing in the first place? Because here's the thing that I know. You don't need to blitz to get sacks. You don't need to blitz. You don't need to blitz to get sacks. You don't, okay? Um, there, are, there are blitzes in the game that will work to get you sacks, but you don't need to blitz to get them. Okay, and that's a, that's really critical for people to learn because um, you you just don't you don't need don't need sacks you don't need or you don't need a blitz to get sacks pressure will come. What you need to do, okay, what you need to do is you need to get pressure. That's the key. It's not about getting sacks. It's about getting pressure. Okay, and you can do that in a variety of ways. And I think here are a couple that that I would suggest. The first thing that you want to do is you want to have a plan. And I've talked about this at nausea, but really seriously. Sit down in, in your computer. This takes about 30 minutes, okay, uh, for me. Um, but sit down in your computer, and you need to literally write out what is your defensive plan. What is your playbook? You have to have a playbook. If you don't have a playbook, you don't have anything. You have to have a plan, okay? Not necessarily a play call sheet, but, but with some kind of plan, some kind of system that you have put into place, and you say, you know what, on third down, I'm going to run cover two or, or, or whatever it may be. Um, but that's critical. It's absolutely critical to have a plan if you're going to do anything in this game. If you're going to get better at defense, you're going to get better, whatever it is, got to have some kind of plan that is uh, going to help you get better. Okay, the second thing that you need to do, um, or, or I guess we're on number three. The, the third thing that you need to do is you need to have timing. Now, this is a critical thing. The, the key with getting more sacks uh, is, is in... Uh, we're talking about pressure generation. So there's a couple ways that you can ge generate pressure. There's a couple ways that pressure happens in Madden. Pressure happens, number one, by generation. Okay, so either you generate the pressure yourself through blitzing, through blitzing, or, or something else generates it for you. Okay, so another way that pressure can be generated, another way that it can be generated is the quarterback, if you ever watch, they, they'll talk about it in a in a game of in a game of football. They'll talk about the quarterback becoming trigger happy. What happens is if you time it if you time it right, oftentimes the uh, the quarterback will become trigger happy if you've shown that you can establish pressure. If you've shown that you can get pressure, and they and and he gets maybe hit once or twice, he will become trigger happy, and you won't have to blitz. Okay, he'll 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 mentally his mental clock is going to advance to eventually the quarterback's clock is going to be whatever it is that you establish early on. So, so for example, if I send a blitz on first down and it gets a sack, what most people think you're going to do, what what won't most people do is they're going to try to stop that blitz, right? Well, what's going to happen is if if I get good pressure, okay, if I get good pressure. Then what's going to happen is they're going to be they're going to mentally think okay well I've got to throw the ball in you know five I've got to throw the ball in two seconds because the pressure got got to me last time that's what they're thinking in their head okay what's you, what what's going to happen and what's really good for your defense is is if what's 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 absolutely critical for your defense to do is to not blitz the them in the same way. Okay, because what you want to do is you want to kind of test them out, see how the quarterback responds. How does he respond to coverage defense versus pressure? Okay, so that's really critical because again, pressure can be generated in a couple of different ways. Um, again, the the first the first way to generate better pressure is through generating it yourself. The second way is through letting the pressure that you've generated in the past um, generate itself for you. Okay, that's that's again. That's something that has really, really worked well for me. When I grasped that principle, uh, it's really made my defense so much better. Um, is because I'm not so worried about getting sacks that it clouds my judgment and all I do is blitz all game. I don't think that's the key to getting more sacks in the game. I actually think blitzing less is. 
Okay, blitzing less is. So I have a couple of different blitzes, uh, different types of blitzes. And so do, so do NFL teams, if you actually watch uh, their defenses, at least the good ones, you have the first thing is heavily, very aggressive pressure. Now, this is when you're really trying to, you know, amp it up. You're really trying to generate um, some type of some type of pressure that you're you're trying to get after the quarterback. Okay, I have that in my in my guide in my book. But I also um, I also have things that I call passive pressure. Now this is where and that's what I actually just ran. I actually run passive pressure more than I run anything else. This is where I will blitz. Um, you know, maybe two to three people from a specific predetermined side. So uh, that's going to force the pocket to push the quarterback to roll where he doesn't want to roll. So normally if it's a right-handed quarterback, I'll send the pressure from the right. If it's a left-handed quarterback, I'll send the pressure from the left. So this is another thing that you can do that can really amp up the pressure is you can send pressure. Uh, what I like to do is use the different sides at which I send the pressure to really um, you know, make a difference and have an opportunity to attack. The third way that I get pressure though, and this is meant, again, this works, I'm telling you, is coverage defense. Coverage defense is when you drop um, nine to 10 people in a coverage and you force the quarterback to sit in the pocket and make a read. And I find this actually works because what, what will happen inevitably is the quarterback will roll out into the pocket. Um, the quarterback will roll out in, of, of the pocket. And what I can do is then when if you have a quarterback spy, um, I can click the right stick in, basically the, the right stick, you just click it down. And what will happen is the, the um, what will happen is if you do that, the, the, the spy will blitz the quarterback and he'll be one-on-one. -on -one. He won't even have to worry about getting past blockers. Um, oh, that's a terrible interception. Dang it. Um, he won't even have to worry about getting past blockers. He will just be there. So again, that's a critical thing that I've been able to do that has helped me, uh, you know, as far as getting more sacks goes is using that coverage. But again, it all comes down to timing and timing is critical with pressure. If you want to get the, you want to get more sacks, you have to time your blitzes. You can't just blitz all game. Okay. You can't. Especially not this year, um, because it just doesn't work. So common mistakes that most people make is they try to blitz every down. They try to blitz six to seven people at a time, um, and they don't have any coverage. My opinion, what's more important than um, the thing that has, that has caused, if, if you're looking at, and this is another thing, that, another exercise you can do, is to ask yourself, why do I get sacked? Like why, what are, what are the reasons that I get sacked? For me, it's normally not, um, it's normally not because of the pressure that came at me. Normally what I've found for myself is the reason that I get sacked is because I get confused and I sit there and I hesitate. Whenever you can confuse your opponent and force them to hesitate, that this guy has done really well. Is, is I'm confused. I can't quite tell. Um, I'm having a lot of trouble with his defense. Um, and so I can't quite tell what he's calling and when he's calling it. Okay. I have a, I have a basic idea based on the film that he's calling cover three and he's shading his coverage down, but I'm having a lot of trouble, obviously. Okay. With two interceptions thrown. So that's this guy. And you're seeing that I've taken a couple sacks that I shouldn't have taken, but it's because I, I'm having a lot of trouble reading the defense, okay? Oh, what a terrible throw by freaking Tom Brady. Um, but anyways, guys, so anyways, that is what I would suggest. That's what I suggest for getting more sacks. Again, you've got to have a plan. you got to have a playbook, and if you need one, if you need a playbook or if you need some blitzes that will really, really work, I would consider checking out the defense in the premium membership. The defense in the premium membership is seriously the best defense in the game. There's no defense that creates more pressure from less blitzers uh, in the game. It also has different packages for run defense. It has so many things. So if you want to become a premium member, you're not only going to get access to a defense, you're going to get access to a, a whole year's worth of content uh, with update videos and different things like that. It's You really just kind of become what I would call my inner circle uh, in Madden 18. So if you want to be a part of that, check it out. We only have a couple of people that have been able to get into it. So um, 
I would just suggest checking out the premium membership. You can find a link to it in today's video. It's in the description of the video. Um, but, but anyways, guys, check that out. That will help you guys a lot. But this is how to get more sacks in Madden 18. If you have any questions, I tend to respond to comments about every 24 hours. I try to get all of them answered within 24 hours. Okay, so if I um, if you leave a comment, I will answer it within 24 hours or do my best to uh, get back with you in that time frame. So uh, just leave the comment and, and let's get after it, guys. So uh, anyways, thank you so much for watching today's video. And we will see you guys next time.